uh, until the seats are blue, pressure on the nearby reds to vote blue. I've participated in some of OPA Orange County chapter's events focusing on immigration reform and congressional climate change and with the, with the congressional climate change deniers because Congress members in that region need some public attention on their positions on these issues. Ivana Cifuentes, OPA Orange County chapter, organized quite a successful event in Huntington Beach recently, drawing attention to Representative Dana Rohrabacher as a climate denier. Those speakers from the San Francisco's headquarters of the California League of Conservation Voters and the Climate Reality Project. OPA's metric for events is success in getting press coverage for earned media, although it seems all but impossible to get. However, the Orange County Register, as well as Salon, etc., did have stories. Tomorrow, there will be a follow-up action at Rohrbachers, uh, coordinated by OFA's Cal California Sasky Young. The OFA Orange County Chapter will also have another in its series of public actions on immigration reform to focus on Irvine's representative John Campbell and Ed Royce. Uh, recent events regarding this issue with those Congress members garnered plenty of media coverage. Any of you guys want to look at this? Oh, uh, we can post this report on the. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, all of that, all of that is organized for action on the integration. Can you talk loud? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which I've been, I'm sorry, we're <laughs> fighting against the wall unit. Uh, I just reiterated. Again, but that OFA is organizing for action, which is the current iteration of the former Obama um, supporter of um, There are 501c3 cannot uh, actively support candidates, so that's why we're going a little bit uh, around them. Okay, but we're still working with them. Okay, so that was that report. I read a little bit of Hey, hello, everybody. Did everybody get a flyer for the uh, fundraiser we're having? No? no. Yes. So here, do we buy um, no, that's fine. That's wrong. I revised it, the one that I had. Nobody look at it because we're not changing it again. <laughs> we have two people watching it. Uh, what this is, is the uh, event we're having uh, a red and blue committee. Essentially what it is, we're turning uh, red seats to blue. And uh, the number one seat in the United States of America to change from red to blue yes. is up in San Bernardino. And uh, he died on Mayor Redlands. It's a Democrat running in that district. Right now we have a Republican there. And we have at the moment, pardon me, it's a 10 per sort, 10 per sort, 10 percent <laughs> uh, spread via Democrat to Republican in voter registration. This is our district. So what we decided to do as a committee and as a club, the club endorsed Peter Aguilar for this congressional seat. Even though it's early on as it is, we need to do all the other Democrats out and get this Democrat in. He's endorsed by the BCCC, which is a Nancy Pelosi Democratic Congressional Committee, um, as well as like other organizations, and uh, most of the elected officials within the area, I should say. All of the Democrats. But uh, what we're having, everybody has this in front of them, is a fundraiser. And uh, I, you know, I feel very comfortable we've gone to extreme lengths to make this a successful event. Um, Stuart and Chris Rosen have been working diligently on what is uh, public information relative to FEC filings and who donated in the area for uh, up to $30,000. We're inviting people to donate up to $30,000 to Obama to the event. And we're personalizing it. Rose and I will be sitting out Saturday and sending out personal invites to the people to attend this event. And if we're not going to attend the event, oh, Mark is going to help us out too. And if we're not going to attend the event, then we're asking for their dinero, their money, and lots of it. And if you look at it, we're kind of having a wine, a wine theme for this. We're hoping to pull in um, or make an impression. We're not going to make an impression. We're going to give the impression. And, you know, uh, succeed with that is that this is going to be a very stellar, very refined event um, from valley parking to bartending service. Is that, you know how it's going to be. We're going to have food provided. We're going to have, have half of our feast provided. Um, our main speaker, of course, is Peter Aguilar. We have confirmed Alan Lowenthal, congressperson, uh, Janice Hahn, congressperson, and the entire event is going to be held right in this home. And that's on the 28th of September, which is very close, very close. Um, as club member, as the committee, what we're going to be doing at, is selling opportunity drawing tickets. 
which of course all proceeds are going to the Pete Aguilar campaign. We're also having a silent auction. Um, anybody that can contribute or go out amongst the society and get something from a local retailer, local restaurant, multiple video certificates would be grand. And uh, contribute that. And I do need that a week prior to the event because I'm going to uh, formally uh, draft the um, contribution and the bid points and have those all ready for that night so it looks very presentable. And when you do look at it in the item, please get business cards, flyers, menus from the establishment so you're getting the, the uh, item from so we can display them and say we're going to market advertise for you. It's all going to be Long Beach residents, so a Long Beach establishment would be great and be interested in donating. Um, also, go ahead. A uh, quick sidebar on that. Right now, we have only three people who have made any donations. Yes. So what is that? Give me a shout out. One of them is D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The other is uh, Shana. Shana's got a couple of gift certificates from the Pop Cup uh, Cafe, Brooks Cafe, and uh, OJ Garden. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, visionary Art. Uh, what? It's called Visionary Art. I think it's a Visionary Art. Visionary art. Okay, so we have some artwork. Uh, we have some uh, third person. Third person has donated so far. We've got donations. This is Susan Nefowski. Who, if you remember the last time we did this, we did that work to go back to the wonderful yes. cool art of the household. I got you know, everything she contributed last time. I wanted it all. We're so getting cool. there, but we really yeah. want to. This is a significant aspect of raising money. To get something that's worth something, and you charge what it's not, the rest of it goes to the Yeah, do that Yeah, because it's all free items. Go ahead, Nick. Oh, I can donate the tickets to the Queen Mary, our plays that we beforehand. Oh, oh that's awesome. awesome. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. That's I'm sorry, that's right. <laughs> and so this is an email with all the information. Okay. Okay. But things like that, when we would say a ticket or something, we need to amplify with something, some artwork or poster or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 I'll get my marketing. Yes, you get people when they go to the table, they'll see something other than a little less. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Go ahead. And then, um, like I said, the event is on the 28th. Um, you can look at all our special guests. Uh, we have our confirmations. And there's a couple things we do need help with. Um, like I said, the, uh, the actual committee is going to be selling our free drawing tickets every, for every one in the committee. Uh, we do need somebody to volunteer to be at the door. And at that door, we want to get all these people's names. It's very important. Every attendee. You take out a name, email, cell phone number, question. Oh, no, I have an idea. Maybe we have shifts. So they oh, absolutely. You know, yeah, so anybody would be interested to be up there, like 30 minute shifts. It's a, you know, it's from 6 yeah, to so 9. Yeah, we'll get some chance. But exactly. So. I'll do one of the shifts. I'll okay, on the ball. I'm taking names down right now. So what's interesting? Let's see. Okay. Dagmar. 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 Dana. And. Eileen, Eileen. Right. Here's the thing with the uh, with that process that's real important for this event. Like the Portino event, we did not have a ticket. We didn't have a ticket, an entry fee. So if you come out to the front table, what you're going to be doing is not just saying welcome, you want to get your information. By the way, we'd really like you to contribute to the Pete Aguilar campaign. And they'll have envelopes there for his campaign. So it's a, you know, they're not forced to give an entry, but if they have ten bucks or something, we can collect yeah, anything. anything. Thanks. We're going to have like a... We'll, we'll, have, it, we'll have it all be organized. Yeah, we'll have a table off Now we had it with um, the yeah, Portantino event. We had the uh, hand that were actually sitting out there the entire time with the table going lengthwise. And what we'll do is we'll like, we'll dictate being inside or outside as the weather. So if it's hot like this, we'll have a table inside here with the air condition. And then I'll be able to do that side of the have having it inside. Hopefully by that spot that we should do. Yeah, a little, you know, much cooler. Um, just give me one moment, everybody makes it. Well, while you're doing that, let me tell you a little bit about the donor file that uh, Chris was talking about. Um, in fact, if you remember back in the 10 campaign for Brown and that period, we did a uh, fundraising uh, mailing. Uh, and we had very little response to it. Okay. Um, this time, what we did is we combined the people who donated money to Obama in 08 and 12, and people who donated money to Janice Hahn or Alan Wallenbaum. People living in Long Beach, Long Beach addresses, Seal Beach addresses, and Signal Hill. And, and also we had a few from San Diego. You know, the uh, there are 485 people on that list that gave more than $500. Okay? So and it goes up and up. So it's really a, it's a, it's a really good list, and a lot of people, some of us are on there. Okay. 
So, but the point is that we want to nurture that list. We want to hit them for this event. We want to explain to them. I'm going to do a, a personalized letter to each person on the list and go the supplier that I think some of you saw last time that uh, Maria put together. It's a fabulous uh, using this uh, this logo, the red to blue. Okay. At first I thought, what's that mean? And she said, it's him. I said, well, no wonder I don't know what it means. It's like the LBC. Okay. So it's the. Uh, well, we're the red and blue committee, the red and blue campaign. You can fill in the blank. It's really, it's really a cool name. So we're going to use that, and then we're also going to hit them back up. I know I'm being used to membership. We will also send out a membership solicitation to those folks, too. We want to get them involved. This is about the money. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, it's not that it's not that it's not that it's <laughs> okay, guys, any, anybody who uh, is going to be contributing for the sign-up auction, please email me and just tell me um, up front what the item is, what, um, please give me your name, address, occupation, and uh, employer, or retired, and then, um, actually, no, I'm going to that. If you are personally contributing something, I need that information. If you get it from an establishment, uh, retail, whatever type of um, private entity. I just need their information, address, and where it's located. And then I need the actual value of the items. And then, uh, oh, also you need to let him know why you're not if you're not doing this. Because all you need to do is you go to your favorite restaurant or your favorite saloon or your favorite uh, cruise ship company. It's just your yeah. favorite saloon. <laughs> Roll just go, no, there's a snake in my boot. Be in bed and think outside the box. It could be a flower shop. It could be, you know, a massage place or a nail salon. It could be any place that you personally frequent. You're a customer of this place, and you say, hey, you know, we need some help here. All right? We really need the more participation, the stronger it will be. Okay, you know, also, like, I need to say that, you know, what uh, Sam, her husband, and herself, have a catering business. And she said she's going to contribute it like a dinner for two. And then what popped in my head was, whoa, I'm going to go down uh, over where I live, down the Beaumont Shore morning corner, and ask the um, <laughs> gondolier oh, yeah, or over across the bay, yeah. over by McKenna's, the, um, the uh, dumpy boat, and say they will donate like an hour. Because that's what we do is try to clump items together. So I'll do the dinner for two, cater, and then the dumpy boat ride. Dumpy boat. Or the things like that. So that's that's how we sell these things. You say? Oh, 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 so as you, all, as you all know, one of the objectives for Yes We Can is to get the money out of politics, and we want to ultimately uh, amend the Constitution to say corporations are not people and money is not speech. But this group we're working on now is working here locally to, our first goal is to pass a resolution through the City Council of Long Beach to overturn Citizens United. And what we're... So what we're doing is we're meeting one on one with the city council people, one by one by one, and making a presentation to them. We have an packet like this, and it has lots of information and background. Uh, it tells you what cities in California have already passed such a resolution. It tells you what states have passed this resolution, and uh, it gives you a, a examples of actual resolutions that other cities have passed. So they have actually done it. So. Uh, we've given them a generic kind of Long Beach resolution. We're trying to keep it really tight so that we make sure it gets passed. Uh, but we know that it's going to be rewritten by the city attorney and various other people. But we, we met with five uh, city council people so far, and four of the five have definitely said they want to support it. Some want to champion it. Can you name us who those five are? Yes, we met with uh, Jerry Shipsky, who definitely wants to support it. We've met with um, Robert Garcia, who would like to support it. 
Uh, we've met with the uh, chief of staff in James Johnson's office. He wants to take it through the legislative, the federal legislative committee first. So that's one option, which we're talking about. And then, yeah, 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 we heard that. And then uh, we met with uh, we met with O'Donnell, uh, his chief of staff, uh, Rick Bridget. And we and she was the only one that was non-committal. Bridget Bridget from uh, from O'Donnell's. And then we met with um, Al Austin, who wants to be our champion. He wants to take it all the way through. So so we're work, that's what we're working on right now. We think there's Al Austin. After we get this done, we're going to dip the, get this done before the end of the year. Okay. Once we get that done, then we can move on to phase two, which is more about mobilizing. Getting the vote out, we have a city election where less than 20% of the people come and vote. Wow. Think of that number, 20%. So we think that we can do a lot of things about using this issue to mobilize people. And Carol? Um, we might mention that when we do it on the agenda for the city council meeting, yes. um, yes. we would like lots of people to show up. Yes. Um, yes. And a lot of people. And for us, your support. We'll, we'll try oh, to give you as much notice. If they yeah. can give, it, give you a week's notice, we will. But if not, be on the lookout. We'll send you a real bright and cheery email so you won't miss it. So. City council yes. meetings are the first, second, and third Tuesdays of the month. Yeah. So be on alert. You're on alert. Do you, want, do you want to let us know if or you want us to see? Get the early stand and speech. Yes. We will be doing that. Exactly. So we'll put all that information ah. in each. Ready, cut it out. That's going to be in October. We're going to get it passed before Christmas. So it's going to be done. Let's promise. Well, you're going to Gary Belong. Yeah, Gary Belong. Monday. Monday. Have a lovely day. Okay. You're still on track? We're actually a minute ahead. Really? Cindy, have you another minute? <laughs> uh, okay. Can I talk a second? I'm, I'm not on the agenda, but look, I'm live streaming it. If you ever miss a meeting, just go to your computer and you can watch it as it's happening. And it's being recorded too, so we, you can watch it after the meeting. Think, okay. 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 Yeah, well, well, we got another applause for this gentleman because I want to tell you, if you don't have anything, we've had a real tight agenda this time. This guy has gotten a weapon. Webitis. He's got crazy. <laughs> he is like going. I mean, I get four or five emails. Of, Did you check the site eight seconds ago? There's something new, you know. Back out there. It's real. It's incredible. You need to look on yeah. our site. Look at every our few minutes. Just <laughs> <laughs> keep up with what's going on. I'm it's incredible. It's outrageous. Yeah. Thank you. 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 We don't walk in it. Oh, no. We've been waiting for four oh, years yeah. now, five years to get a website. It's all with Okay, thanks, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eileen, could you give us a membership uh, update, please? Oh, Come over here because we got the air from me. Regarding Stuart and his magnificent work, I'd like to propose we search for a website contest or whatever and supporting uh, Stuart to be in it. I just think he's just that so wonderful. Really I personally don't know of any, but I'm sure we, there has to be. So there are. I know in the advertising world, they have the ads. It's kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's it's check it out. A website contest to submit our website. Here. Competition. Yeah. Oh, excellent idea. Okay, the membership committee has been fairly dormant this summer because a number of people have been on extended vacation. Lucky day. We expect to pick up the reins on the third. Wednesday of September at 7 o'clock at my house. We'll continue to work on the membership plan. Um, there was usually Maria is here with a computerized sign and she and I don't see her here and that's okay. But I will ask you to um, write out your attendance tonight on the sheet that I will be passing. Thank you. Because I need to see that too. Okay, I mean, can you just remind us who is on the membership committee? Um, Annette Berman. Um, Becky and David Handage and me. And me. Uh, and me. Uh, Dee Dee. Dee Dee's <laughs> joining us. Yes. I'm an ad hoc And then one of our executive members joined Yes, I think Chris is committed to me. Do we have a date the third uh, Wednesday? We don't have a calendar. Okay. Uh, Stuart will post that on the calendar. Remember, there's a calendar feature on the website. 
Yes, we collect money from the tax blue or direct mail. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, by the way, if you have people who want to uh, sign up for, it's not the flyer, but we are able to collect money through our Mac Blue account. Yes. We also will take checks sent to this address, 618 Ohio, to my personal account. So there's a lot of clean. Uh, but basically, there are lots of ways you can get money. All right. Next is the mayoral debate. Uh, Peggy. I only have two minutes, so I'll be really brief. Um, we decided already that the, the mayor of the bay will be at the First Congregational Church. It will seat up to 750. The cost, though, and we would like to get four hours. It's $100 an hour and $25 an hour for the custodian to clean up afterwards. So what we need is I'm asking for somebody to make a motion <laughs> uh, for $500 to meet that expense so we can reserve it. I have it. Tentatively uh, reserved until tomorrow, and then if I don't contact them and reserve it, then we lose it. Okay, for those that we spend up to five hundred dollars on a memorial date in February, whatever date we spend. That was long. Go ahead. Are there nonprofit organizations that you partner with to like, like work? That's part of the discussion. Right there. I can mention that. Uh, Chris told me that Landis is interested in. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion on the floor. This is all discussion later. So we need a second. Second. Yeah. Okay. I'll second. Okay. I'll second. Okay. I'll second. Okay. 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 Okay
things we do to help fund these meetings is we have an opportunity drawing. What happens is whoever wins this gets half the proceeds, the other half goes back to the club. Most people tend to donate all of it back to the club. Anyway.